Hey coders, what's up? Chris here with episode 8 of how to make a YouTube video app. In the previous lesson, we had added our second view controller. So let me demonstrate here in the app. When we select a video from this list, we go to a second view controller, which we added to the storyboard. And then it also shows this back button here. And when we click that, it comes back to this main UI table view. So in this episode, what we're going to do is create the view controller class that is going to control this secondary detail view. Uh, and we're also going to be adding the UI elements to this detail view. So let's jump straight into our storyboard in our Xcode project. You can see here that I've got a zoomed out view. Now I want to demonstrate something. So remember when we were working with this view controller right here with our UI table view. And when we wanted to add the table view to our view controller .swift by creating this IB outlet right here, we were able to do that by clicking the assistant editor button here. And it would show us the view controller on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, we would have our, uh, our view controller. So we were able to hook it up as IB outlets. Now let's click the second view controller, which we added. You can see here on the right hand side that it shows the U actual UI view controller class that we can edit. And that's because by dragging a view controller to the storyboard, this is the actual UI view controller class from the UI kit framework. As you can see here, if I go to view controller.swift, this is the view controller class, which is a subclass of the UI view controller. So we need to create our own subclass of the UI view controller and then maybe we'll call it detail view controller or uh, video detail view controller and then we got it in the storyboard we got to specify that this view controller right here is an instance of that detail video or sorry video detail view controller so let me show you how to do that we're going to go here on the file navigator we're going to right click or control plus click and then go to new file choose the Coco touch class and we're going to call this the video detail view controller uh, make sure it's a subclass of UI view controller spelled exactly like that with a capital UIV and then a capital C controller and you can uncheck also create zip file language make sure that's Swift click next and then let's save it in the project folder Okay, so now we have a new class called video detail view controller .swift. We're going to jump into our storyboard. And this time I'm going to, let's go back to the single view right here. I'm going to click this second view controller. And over here in the inspector pane, I'm going to choose this tab right here. It's the identity inspector. And under the custom class, I'm going to be able to select the class which we just created. It was called video detail view controller. So now I'm basically telling Xcode that this instance on the storyboard is an instance of the video detail view controller. So now let's click this guy. Let's click assistant editor. And we can see on the right hand side, instead of showing the UI view controller class like it did before, it's showing me the video detail view controller. And in this way, we're ready to add elements onto the storyboard of this guy and then connect them as um, IB outlets over here. Okay, so let, now let's add our elements onto this storyboard. So first of all, I'm going to search for web view and you can see here displays embedded web content. Uh, it's going to allow us to embed our YouTube video. So I'm just going to drag it and put it right here. Uh, next, we're going to search for label. So we're going to add two labels, one for the title and one for the description. So I'm going to drag one and just put it underneath the web view and drag another one, and put it underneath the web view there. Uh, and now we're going to add some constraints for all three. Maybe I should have added it for the web view before adding the labels, but let's see how this works out. Okay, so we're going to click the web view and then I'm going to click this menu down here to open up the new constraints menu. I'm going to uncheck constraint to margins. I'm going to enable the left top and right constraints. Uh, for the top, I'm going to put zero, but I'm going to make sure it says the top layout guide 
And the reason why I'm choosing the top layout guide is because it's embedded into a navigation controller. So I don't want it right up. As you can see here in the simulator, it's got this bar right here and the layout guide is going to be right underneath that bar. So I want it to be zero against the top layout guide. If I say zero against the view, the web view is actually going to reach all the way up here behind this bar and this bar is going to be blocking half of the web view. So I'm going to say, oh, lost the constraints there, okay. Uncheck constraint margins, left, top, right. Um, I'm going to park it against the top layout guide and I'm going to put zero for the left zero for the right zero and for the height I'm just going to put 180 for now it's going to be the same situation as the table cells in our UI table view where we're going to have to adjust this height constraint based on the width of the view and we're gonna to have to calculate and do that programmatically so I'm gonna add these four constraints now all right, and then now we're going to add some constraints for the label before we update constraints. So for the label, let's set the properties first, actually. So here, I'm going to say number of lines is zero so that it's multiple lines. For the text, I'm going to choose custom font. I'm going to choose bold for the title. Maybe make it even a little larger. Let's say size 20. Okay. I want to park it underneath the web view. So let's add some constraints to that guy. Uncheck constraint to margins. Left, let's say, is 20. Right, let's say, is 20. And you can see these numbers changing on me. Make sure it doesn't change on you. And 20, there we go. For the top, I'm going to park it against the web view. So let's say it's 20 from the web view as well. And we also have to give this guy a height. So let's say 100. We'll make sure it's got enough for a couple of lines. Maybe it's a three line video title. For the description, let's add some constraints for that. Uncheck constraint to margins. Let's do left, top, and right. So for the top, I want to make sure it's parked against the title label. Let's say 20. And left is 20 and right is 20 as well. So we're not going to put a height for this guy. So let's make sure that this description can be multiple lines as well by changing the number of lines to zero. Okay, now finally, let's click this guy and update all frames. Uh, so let's choose an element first. Scroll down, update frames for all views in the video detail controller. Okay, so we've got them relatively in the places that we want. That's the title label, that's the description label which is going to fill up uh, the bottom of the screen. And we've got the web view here. So let's go into the assistant editor and hook up these elements to our video detail view controller. So I'm gonna hold down control, click our web view and drag a line to create an IB outlet. I'm gonna call this guy web view. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the title label call this the title label. Let's do it for the description. Let's call it the description label. Okay, I'm going to save it. Now let's go back to the standard editor or single view and let's run it to see what we have. We shouldn't see anything in the web view because it's blank, but let's click this cell. So now we have our web view. It seems a little bit off actually, like there's this huge gap here. So let's revisit the constraints. But we do have our, whoops. But we do have our title label and description here, which is good. So we're gonna go back to our storyboard now just to take a look at that top constraint for the web view. Let's open up the document outline. Um, open up this constraints. So it says here web view dot top equals the top layout guide bottom and constant is zero. So let's try something where instead let's delete that constraint. I'm going to highlight this constraint and hit delete and we're going to try to add it again. So click the web view, open up this menu, uh, uncheck constraint to margins. Let's so we can either choose top layout guide current distance it's zero from the top layout guide or we can choose it from the view but the current distance is 64. 
which I assume is that distance that covers the top bar. So let's give that a try. Let's make it relative to the top of the view, but with a 64 margin. Okay, now let's give it a run. And maybe that will work better for us. Okay, so I think it did. So the web view is right up against this edge here, which is what we want. When we actually put the video in there, I don't think we'll be able to scroll. So in the next lesson, we're actually going to fill in the video. We're going to fill in the title and the description, and we're going to hook it up so that when we tap on a cell, it actually passes the video we chose to the detail view so it knows what to display. So I want to thank you for watching and sticking around. If you like this video and you like the series, please share it with your coworkers and friends. Uh, please give me a like and a subscribe. And we're nearly finished the app. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12. Talk to you later. Bye for now.